Hey guys, Chris back here again with another episode of MTGA Historic Brawl. We are going to be playing a newer commander, Uncle Rustin. Um, Uncle Rustin's kind of a cool card. He doesn't really do a lot, which generally is not a good sign for whether or not a card will be cool. But he makes tokens. He makes tokens depend. He mills a card at the beginning of each turn, and then he makes a token, depending on what you mailed. Um, he's also a legendary peasant. That's kind of cool. So, we do have a Scurry Oak Combo E. It's, um... A little too convoluted to actually be called a combo. So instead it's just like a combo E. Basically, you get Scurry Oak on the battlefield, a sack outlet, and you um, put Necrosynthesis on Scurry Oak, so that whenever a creature dies, you can, um... Do -do -do. You can, um, you'll put a 1 plus 1 plus 1 counter on it because of Necrosynthesis. And with the Sack Outlet, you can sack the token you just made with the Scurry Oak. to um, put another counter on him, which will make another token, and the combo is basically that. You're just putting tokens on him. Doing it the hard way, though, unfortunately. Um, hmm. So do I spin my clue or do I keep my clue? I think we're going to get old Rustin back. He's actually a really good ramper. So I have a couple token payoffs on the deck. You can likely already see that. Um, parallel lives lets us double up creatures, I believe. I don't know if it doubles up all tokens. Um, the only other card that does something similar in Historic is old um, Squirrel General. Unfortunately, I do not own a copy of that. Do do do. So we're slowly chipping away. This is a neat card. I haven't seen it much, but it's a neat card. Basically, it lets you cast counter anything. Uh, the foretell cards and the flashback cards for one mana, and then you can pay three to get any spell, which is kind of neat. Um, situational, of course, but Situational. Okay, our opponent has tapped out. I honestly did not expect us to pick up a win against this deck. Uh, the Steel Stuff deck generally is one of the worst matchups I play against because I'm not very good at um, uh, going toe for toe with them and removal. So instead, I just rely on synergy to beat them. And I knew Rustin is a synergistic commander. I just didn't think he was synergistic enough to cause conceit. They might have had like a like a bum hand or something, but I don't know. I feel like they were still in that. We'll keep Volumachus. Volumachus is a powerful commander. There is no doubt of that. Um, I almost. I had a standard deck with him for a bit uh, around the time of um, 
Midnight Hunt, there was that white white instant that gave a creature like plus two plus two vigilance double strike and lifelink or something along those lines. And you can attack with him, find that spell, cast it on him, and then you can cast a bigger spell next turn. It was really cool. Um, not the most synergistic of plans. Okay, so this actually works with any token. I did not know that. Rustin. He's a 4-1, so he's going to be hard to remove. This is looking like a cool game. I like it. Don't! Fine then. I did the hard way. We have like insane token cards in hand, so it doesn't matter too much if Rustin gets bodied. Well, they're about to body our hopes and dreams of casting a Tovalar next turn. But we can still cast Chariot. Either way, we're getting four two twos. And we can get down Great Hinge next turn to play Open the Graves. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a good deal, I assure you. So we are winning the race right now. If they attack in with Bane Slayer, we have an army to attack back with. Calling Infestation is just a card I saw that was kind of cool. I like it. It's probably not good, but I like it. Cats and dogs. To be fair to our opponent, we got our strongest start possible. Root. You know I love tokens, right? If you do that, you're going to get whacked. Yeah, you're going to get whacked. Tarikus, I don't know if this game has been your game. Okay. That could change things. Exile base enchant removal. Ah, come on. I'm pretty sure I just win. Okay. Mm 
<laughs> so Sure. <laughs> I think we out DPS to the Bane Slayer. Our opponent plays an aggressive style of magic. Still dead, opponent. Okay, it's game two. I did not think this commander would be as fun as he is, but he is pretty fun. I don't think, um, I don't think the value you get out of him is too, I don't actually think it's that powerful. I think it's kind of sweet with parallel lives on the battlefield. If you can keep it that way, but can't imagine that being the case. Locust God might be a bit too much. Yeah. I don't really want to go to um, six, so I'll keep. I have two draws to find the third land. I have one draw to find the next land. I ran out of draws to find the next land. Ah, uh, we can discard that. So I'm prioritizing discarding creatures to make ghoul cast somewhat profitable and to make Godfair's gift somewhat profitable. You're going down. But um, I think we've lost mostly. Alright, I was going to put the Underworld Dream combo in this deck, but I only put Underworld Dreams. Yeah. Soren scorn deals damage to the number equal to the number of turns you have begun to target. What? That makes no sense. Okay. Do whatever you want, Arena. I can make one. Make a zombie. Draw and discard. Ah. Uh... Sandworm Convergence. Doesn't seem like we're gonna cast it. <sighs> oh, this is gonna hurt. 
Here comes Locust God. <sighs> so I think this means we're gonna go two and one for our little games here. Not too bad. I like Roston. He is definitely a commander I can see myself returning to in the future. Um, which puts him on the exalted list of things like Golos and Nicobolus. Because, A, I like Grixis. And with Golos, yeah, five color piles will always be good, no matter what you're trying to do with them. Rest in. Yeah, so this deck doesn't run any Wrath, I think. Um, which might be an oversight on my part. It's more just that Wrath hurt us more than most of our opponents. Because we have creatures like Dryad Creeper, Creature or Enchantments like Open the Grave that will make us creatures. Man, why you gotta kill Rustin? He's not that scary. Mm. That's a... Oh, that's an artifact. Treasure. So, do we gamble? There we go. We'll make a 4-4. Four, four. Letter of acceptance. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think we can outpace a Locust God and a Shark Typhoon. This deck probably should be running um, Field of the Dead. Which I know I say that about most decks, but... If you're attacking magic and you can play Field of the Dead, you probably should play Field of the Dead. Ah, either way, those are three games. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.